Greetings, Mega Man fans, and welcome back to the Mega Man Rock Force LPA. In this episode, we'll be taking on Thermal Man, derpy-looking fire robot master who is the combination of Photon Man and Virus Man. Kind of reminds me of Heat Man a little, gotta admit. And his stage is pink and green. Certainly an odd color combination. And his music here is very salsa. Originally, this song was meant to be War Man stage, but then it took on the its percussion took on the salsa beat that we're hearing right now, and Goldwater wisely decided that this wouldn't work for War Man stage. Can you imagine this kind of theme playing in War Man stage? It'd make it awfully difficult to take that place seriously in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> anyway. The first major gimmick of the stage are these bouncing fireballs spit from these totem things. The fireballs are used to destroy these specially marked blocks that rather frequently you're going to need out of the way. I find the gimmick to be kind of a little finicky, honestly. Oh, hi, Phage. Yeah, I find the fireballs a little finicky, honestly. And, uh... <laughs> And I just revealed by complete accident that you can shoot the fireballs. So, yeah, you can shoot them and redirect them. Something that you're likely to figure out here, since it's the only way to keep from getting a fireball to the face. And you're promptly going to need that redirection trick in order to get through that room. That Love Me Not right there has a really good place to encourage the player to keep moving, since otherwise you're going to get a flower petal to the foot as it shoots upwards. And we completely missed that lava drop up there. It's basically Plague Man's liquid drop, only with a slight recolor to it. Which, that's fair. It was a decent enough gimmick in Plague Man stage, and it certainly works here. Ah, uh, great. Of course, it's a virus man fusion. There has to be Rotomotos. That's a tongue. Okay. Eh, uh, hmm. This is a bit of a strange one. But I can see what the gimmick wants of me. Interesting little setup. Gives this place a little bit more of a platforming feel. And I just noticed I don't move with the platforms when standing on them. That's a bit of a dangerous combination. Oh well. That was close. Okay. Get on the tongue and down we go. Bit of a strange gimmick for Thermal Man to have a tongue. Tongue. To have tongues in his stage. And here we have a mini boss. This is Thermoflux. It has two attacks, though a set of those sparks that just fly outwards, and that fireball worm thing that it spits. Which will, after charging at you thrice, split in an X shape. Thermoflux is mildly dangerous, particularly if you start derping up like I was, but it's not too bad. And now it's teeth. Whoa, hi! Um... Something tells me that I have misjudged the exact nature of what this stage is about. And the truth is, yeah, I guess I kind of have. This is not just an ordinary fire robot master. You see, Thermal Man was originally called Fever Man. And in fact, it's probably a better name for him because that's the theme of the stage. Fevers. Kind of explains how Photon Man, the closest thing this game would have to a fire robot master fused with virus man 
creates this place. And I definitely want that extra life, good sir. Yes, I'll have what you're selling. Yes! Haha, <laughs> thank goodness. That T-segment back there can be fairly tricky, particularly at the end of that. You all saw how narrowly I have got, I could have gotten skewered earlier. And now, from the mouth to... Through the esophagus to the stomach, where we fight Squirm again. Except now, he's moving in this figure eight and spitting fireballs at us. No maze to guard this time. Squirm just wants us... Dead. He's not playing around now. All that being said, though he has a lot more health, he's still not terribly hard to dispatch. Now that we're through with him, we're into what is this? The intestines now? We're basically just going through the human body at this point. What the? <laughs> Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, how is it doing that? Like, literally how? And I see the lava drips don't recognize the tongues as platforms. Okay. Ow. Go away, you bother me. Okay, this last jump right here was originally a lot harder in the beta. If I recall correctly, we asked, the testers asked for it to be made a little more merciful. Okay, running for it. I am not getting another fireball to the face, thank you. Um, yeah, this is a bit of an interesting stage. Definitely a lot more platforming themed. With all sorts of temporary platform shenanigans. Areas that may be safe now, but certainly don't stay that way. Except this time, you also need to be rather precise with where you shoot. So, uh, definitely a solid stage in terms of going through it. Though I have to admit, this place is weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I first went through this place, I was completely baffled by what was going on. Anyway, I've already explained th the nature of Thermal Man's fusion, and I will freely admit, I think Fever Man would be a better name for him, but that's me. And now for Thermal Man's actual fight. Fortunately, he really is a fire robot master by nature. If he raises his fist like that, he's doing a dash punch. If he shoots his head into the air like that, he's using the thermo cannon, as, I, as the thermal cannon, as I call it, which is that spread shot of fireballs. And he can also swim through the lava. Oh my! That lava swim with that random splash of three fireballs is his only legitimately dangerous attack. In fact, I think this recording is the first time Thermal Man has ever actually managed to hit me. His dash punch is pretty clearly telegraphed, and so is his cannon, and so is his swim attack. He's really easy. Really quite a wimp. I'm amazed he managed to tag me at all. I suppose it's just, then again, that, it, that swim is the one attack of his with any actual RNG. Otherwise, most of the time he uses his attacks in pra practically in set locations, what with that dash punch of his. Like I said, Thermal Man is easy. Like, really, really easy. No wonder he looks so derpy on his mugshot. Anyway, with that, that was the stage. Weird aesthetic? Bit of an odd setup with the fireballs that you had to shoot, but not bad. Still enjoyed it. Like I said, weird, but good. Anyway, with that, there was only one more Fusion Master left. 
period. So for the next episode, we'll be taking on Portman. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you again for the next one. Until then, goodbye!